everybody. I'm going to give you a few minutes to get on here. And um, there's going to be a little bit of noise in the background today. <laughs> because my son is in my room here once again working while I am recording. So um, we'll see how many of you come on today without me sending out an email. That'll be interesting. Um, if you're on here, please comment so I know you're here. Otherwise, I'm going to think I'm all by myself and I'm going to shut it off and just post it on my blog later. So if you're on here today, comment, please. Tell me where you're from. Tell me where you live. Tell me if you live locally or um, whatever. So I hope you're joining me. I'm gonna take a peek here and make sure that I am, it is working here. Hi, Cynthia. <laughs> I'm glad you're with me today. We'll see how many people will do it without me sending out an email. I wasn't sure I was gonna be here today because I had some um, cabinets arriving. And so I didn't wanna send out an email saying I was gonna be here if I wasn't gonna be here. Hello, Vi. Hi, Mary. You guys are good. Um, so Vi and Mary are part of my team. So I'm not surprised that they're here today. So, um, but we'll see how many others will join us. Um, Cause like I said, I didn't send out an email. So we'll see. I have a cute project for today. Um, it's good to see you too, Cynthia. So um, I'm glad you could make it. And let's see. Just check and see. I, well, obviously I'm working because you guys are seeing me. So it might just be a few of us today. So, um, whoops. Let me turn the volume on this down. So we don't hear that. Hi, Catherine. I'm glad you're with me today. So I have a fun project that doesn't use new Stampin' Up! products. Um, I watched a, um, a video yesterday from Stampin' Up! that they put out and um, they were just talking about the shipping situation and there's a whole lot of variables to it and so it was good to hear, you know, that it's not just one thing, it's a whole lot of different variables that are causing this, this difficulty right now. Um, and coming up, the Longshoremen's um, contract. They had a temporary contract from a couple of years ago when um, they um, wanted changes. And so their um, union has decided that the contract it was supposed to expire this year and they are not going to um, renegotiate to let it go another year they want to renegotiate the contract for them. And so that could also add to the shipping problem down the road here in the next months to the rest of this year to 2020. So they're saying that, Stampin' Up! is saying that they anticipate that we will be having shipping problems until 2023, well into 2023. So that means that if there's something in the catalog, the January through June catalog, that you really, really want, that just stole your heart, that you just have to have it because that's what you would love or that's, you know, something that you just want to have, don't wait to order it. Um, if it's something that you think that you're going to use, order it now while it's still available because in June when I get ready, or in May when I get ready to show you how I used it, because I already have it, um, you may not be able to order it, which would be very sad for me. I mean, that you wouldn't, I would hate to show you something you can't order. So today I dropped back to our, um, our annual catalog to create my project. So for those of you who are joining me for the first time, I'm Debbie Cronister. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I this is January of 2022. And I am here to show you how I made an adorable card. And this is the card 
that we're going to make with Valentine's Day coming, and you probably can't see that very well. I'm going to take a minute here and go close my blind. I love the light, but I think that it just makes it so that you guys can't see very well. Um, just a little bit too much. So let's, I'm going to turn you down to my desktop and we'll get started on the project. Um, let's see here. So you're going to get a glimpse of my son who's working right behind me, putting together my Ikea stand. You can stay there, hon. <laughs> he moved out of the way. He didn't want to be in the picture. <laughs> and that's my dining room where all of my stamping supplies have been stored for the last... 10 days almost, I think it is. So um, it's we're getting there. We're getting close to being done. My floor, look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? I think it's so pretty. I love my new room. So let's get you turned down to my desktop. And... Okay. Let's go there. That looks good. Sorry for all the little wiggles. Okay, good. So this is the card that I'm going to show you how I made. So I did use some new product, guys. I'm sorry. I did use an embossing folder. So I used the Gingham embossing folder. This is the number 157627. And um, it's in the new catalog. And so I'm just going to pull this aside and pull my stamp and cut and emboss machine in here to start with. Now I wanted to show you with this one, when you use this folder, this is one of our thin folders. It is not um, the thick. So you're not going to use the gray plate. You're going to use the number one platform. You will not use the number two. So we'll set that aside. And you'll use two of our clear plates, the, the die cutting plates, these plates, which mine are pretty crummy looking right now. So I'm gonna put one down, put my embossing folder in, always with the folded side towards the machine going in first. And then I will put my last number three plate on top. So we'll just emboss that first. And we have a piece of beautifully embossed um, early espresso. That is the early espresso. And I'm just going to set this behind me. Okay, now let's bring back our mat. And the, the stamp set I'm using is Nothing's Better Than. And I think that's all I used for stamps. And actually, I didn't even use the stamps. I used um, the dyes. So I used the chocolate. It says nothing's better than coffee, chocolate, cookies, and there's one other word. Chocolate. Oh, love is in here, but that's out in another place right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So I now have this embossing, and I'm going to bring in my die cut, my paper trimmer, another plate. Okay. So I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer, and my first, there's two pieces of this um, espresso here. So there's the one piece that is the background, which I have over there, then the piece that I embossed. And then I have another piece that's going to go here. And I'm going to cut those at one and a quarter. So I'm going to cut this way. One and a quarter. And then they're going to get cut at three quarters. So I need eight of those. Has to make noise. Five. <laughs> Oops. Get that on the line. Six. Seven. 
seven. And I need one more, so let me put this at one and a quarter. And three quarters. And I like to use the right side of my cutter for all these little tiny measurements. It makes it so much easier. Easier. Okay, now this one is a little bit different. This one, I'm gonna cut at one and one eighth, going this direction, because I want my pattern to go that way. So I'm gonna cut it at one and one eighth. And I'm gonna cut two rows of those, one and one eighth. Okay, and then these are gonna get cut before I cut them, I'm going to sponge those. Those get sponged on all four sides, but I think it's easier to sponge it. You have a little more to hold on to. And especially if you were doing a bunch of these cards, and you're just gonna sponge right along that bottom edge. You can do all the way around. And then we'll go back and sponge the other sides when we have it cut. But to me, it's just a little easier to sponge it when I have something to hold on to. Okay. And by sponging, I just am dabbing this into my Arte Espresso and just with a dauber. And I'm just gonna go around here and add a little bit of, and it'll add the shading so that it'll look like layers instead of just another piece on top. Okay, so we'll leave that. We're gonna cut these at 5 eighths of an inch. So these are really small. See, so I have one side there that I'll need sponged. Then these two edges will need it. So each as we go through here. Um, but we'll go back and do that real quick. Okay, there's four. Five. Two more, as long as they cut them all right. <laughs> Seven and eight. Okay, that should do it for those. Now I am gonna go back and just put a little sponging on the edges of these, the long edges. I'm not gonna sponge my other ones. I just didn't feel like, whoops, that's not the right size. I didn't feel like they needed it. It, it um, flowed over too much. I did try it. And it flowed over too much into this layer. So you couldn't even tell. Um, it just didn't look right. <laughs> How about that? It just didn't look right. Okay, that one's done. And sponging is kind of messy. You end up with ink on your fingers. It's one of those but it does give depth, and that's why we do it, because we want the depth. Okay. All right. Let's put this away. And I think we're done with this ink. Okay. Now let's put our pieces together. So, I don't think I want glue dots. I think I will use a little bit of green glue, which is our multi-purpose glue. And I'm just gonna glue the, each one of these to the little layer it's gonna go on. Just allowing the margin around the edge. It's a very small margin. And make sure that you're gluing the side that has not been sponged. Wow. I think I cut something wrong because these are huge. Wait a minute. Did I cut these at one and a quarter? Let's go back. I have a feeling I cut those wrong. Something got cut wrong. Whether it's this one. Where's my card? No, that one's perfect. So I must have cut these wrong. One and a quarter. I 
I did, I cut them wrong. Okay, so let's just cut a few here. I have some extra scraps laying here. I can do that. So these are by three quarters. I wonder how I did that. Um, you guys didn't even tell me I was cutting them wrong. <laughs> I cut them too long. So you want to make sure they're um, only um, an eighth of an inch larger than your um, than your small ones. Let's turn that over. That one's folding over, lying up. Okay. And there's the last one, I think. One, two, three, four. We'll see. Let's see how we do. Okay, we need to get this one on one before my glue dries. Okay, there's two. Make sure I grab the right ones now. Okay, that one's sponged. So, Stampin' Up! is offering a special, if you sign up right now, if you sign up, you get Stamps um, bundles. You get to get a free bundle um, of your, I think it's of your choice. I better look before I tell you that. Um, but you know, in January and February, it is celebration and they always run a special. So if you're thinking about signing up, now's a good time to do it. You could just get a little bit of extra. I mean, you're already going to get $125 worth of product of your choice, anything you want for $99, but um, right now there's another added bonus to sign up. So um, when I post this, I will post that bonus. I should have been checking that stuff out and I was busy playing with my son, putting cabinets together. So um, <laughs> we, we got the cabinets today, they arrived and um, he started them. And of course, you know, I wanted to be in the midst of it. So, that's where I was. Okay, so then let me grab my um, paper here, my layers I've already cut. So this piece is three and three and three quarters by five. Yeah. And this is what I'm going to attach these to. And I am just going to eyeball them because I can do that typically. Um, if you have trouble with it, you can measure them and let me just lay them out here. So that's how they're going to go. Just to make sure that I've got not too much room in between. This one has a little bit. So that's why the green glue is great because I can move them over a little bit if I need to. And there we are. Uh, get, ladies, I saw this on, I think on Gail Ellis's um, blog. I think that's who did this way back in December or when this, well, when the embossing folder came out, which could have even been in um, the fall, early fall. I'm not sure where it was on her blog. But um, I just thought it was really cute. And with Valentine's Day, I thought it was adorable. So, I love the idea. Thank you, Gail, for the idea. Okay. Now our candy has been created, our candy bar. And there we are. Okay. So then I took a piece of um, red um, designer series paper. And I'm going to tear it. And I know you guys hate this. But you know what? If you were eating a candy bar, you would rip the wrapper down, right? Actually, you would rip it so the white would show. You wouldn't care. So that's how I'm going to rip this, I think. I'm going to try. 
so that my white shows. And I'm just gonna come down and back up to kind of, kind of give it that look. That's exactly what I wanted. So then I'm gonna attach this. Nope, I'm not. I'm going to use um, my Stampin' Seal across here. And I have some aluminum foil. Good old Reynolds aluminum foil. Nothing special. It's not the heavy duty. It's very thin. It's kind of the kind you would find in a candy bar, probably. And so I'm just going to tear off a piece here. And we're going to use that. So, kind of want it to look a little wrinkled, but it will. No problem. And I'm just going to... Um, I'm going to attach that like so. So I'm going to trim up the sides of it and everything. So let me get my paper snips here and I'm just going to go up the side here. And down this side. Maybe. Okay. And then I'm just going to tear this so that it's kind of torn along that same direction because that's what would happen. Actually, I'm going to take my paper snips here and I'm just going to give it a little trim. So that. And then I'm going to crumple it a little bit. Just don't go too far. There we go. Okay, now I can attach that to my candy bar. And it kind of looks like I tore it down there and I'm eating my candy bar. Okay, so we're gonna attach that with some of the glue. My son's laughing at me. And I am gonna wrap my um, ribbon around this section. I did it on the other because I decided afterwards to put the ribbon on. It was not my initial thought. And so I'm just gonna go. And this is our new faux linen ribbon. I love it. It ties a beautiful bow, which to me is very important with all my bows that I like to do. Come up a little high. Come down a little bit here. Are you quitting? <laughs> he's moving away. He's going to make noise and doesn't want me to know it. Oh, he's got all of the tours ready. Yay! Okay. All right. So there we are. Okay. Now we're going to attach that with dimensionals to the card base. So I want it to stay raised up, so I'm going to put lots of dimensionals on here. And a few more up the middle. Oops, not getting them. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna position this onto my basic white, which is cut just a quarter of an inch larger. So it is cut at four by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to attach it to the front of my card, which was cut at 11 by four and a quarter. And that I can do with my Stampin' Seal. Oops. Oops, it's not grabbing. Um, where's my mat? Whenever you get stuck like that, guys, just pull out your rubber mat, and it will help you get started again. And I don't know, there's something about that rubber mat that makes it work, and I don't understand it, but it is. And I'm just going to attach this again, leaving a margin around there. Now you could have attached this with dimensionals as well and given it another pop. Okay, now I have cut, using the layering ovals, I've cut a piece of real red and a piece of the um, basic white. 
and I'm just going to attach those two together and they are going to get attached to my card with dimensionals. Just like that. Okay, and then I have here somewhere, I thought I had a piece of silver cord. Hmm. Okay. Let me grab it. It'll show up when I'm all done. And I just took a nice long piece here and I'm going to tie a double bow. So what I'm going to do is put it together and tie a bow. Just like that and then trim those ends. Okay, then I have here somewhere, um, I have used, I have my, my um, dye, here it is, and it says chocolate. Let me just clean it out of there. Okay, it says chocolate under here. This is the dye from this set. Um, and what I did is I attached the sheets, the um, adhesive sheets, to the back. And I'm going to show you in just a minute how I did that. Let me just get these out of here first. Nope. That's going to punch it out. Okay, we'll leave it. So it, when, you, when you cut these, they come in a sheet. And there are, like, you can see there's, score, there's lines. There are, these pieces are in lines. Okay, there's cut lines, but this side doesn't have those. Okay, so that's what you want. You want this side. And what I did is I cut off a little piece here. And what I'm going to do is pull this off. This is the shiny piece. It's trash. This is where your adhesive is. And so you stick it onto your paper like that. And then you run it through the machine and make sure it's smaller than your paper. Run it through the machine and die cut anything that you want. Then you will come back and peel that off, and I'll show you on the back of this chocolate. So now the back of it is white, and so I'm just going to, you can see that there are, here's a line, nope, here's the line. So there's a line right there. So when I put it on here, if you leave a line in between, then you'll have, it'll be easier to find where that line is, and you're just going to peel that off on both sides here. And I'm going to stick, I'm out of um, the adhesive that I usually use to do the delicate things. So I thought, you know what, this is what I'm using. And I'm going to arch this one. I want to give this one an arch. There we go. Look at that. See, I could even shape it differently. Okay, so everything is on here except my bling and I am using the silver epoxy essentials and these are in our annual catalog so they are available um, and looking for my tweezers right here and I'm just going to pull off two of those and place them right over here there we are so there's my project for today I hope you guys have enjoyed this and if you're, there are any supplies you need, check out stampwithdeb.com. And that's